Hey everybody, welcome to another random game on Shrinking. If you're new to this channel, one of the things I like to do is take old games that have never been opened before, usually obscure ones, open them up and see what's inside, and then actually check out the game and see if it's any good. So if that sort of thing interests you, you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe now and click the notification icon so you can be notified the next time I do a video like this, which is usually pretty often. The game I have here today is called Mind Grind, and it's some kind of trivia game. It's a sticker on it that says a seriously addictive game. Put your knowledge to the test against the greatest minds of the universe with this radical new trivia game, it says here. And the box is interesting because the, the top of it opens up, and basically you can see inside this alien guy's brain. <laughs> so um, when they have a game like this, we, we call this a gatefold cover. Usually it's a sideways opening cover. This, way, this time it opens at the top. They can't shrink wrap it because then you're not going to be able to open this up in the store and take a look at it. So it's sealed with tape on the sides here. And hopefully that's original tape. You never really can know if it's a tape shot, if it's original or not, unless you open it and find out. It says you're a Jew against the brightest minds of the universe, this ultimate intergalactic mental challenge. So you're 2232, you're on the planet Dirt. Uh, I'm not going to read all this text here. You can see the graphics are sort of interesting, like this this purple guy. Um, doesn't look like it's like the best 3D animation ever made. There's also this weird green guy at the bottom. And it looks like the puzzles are mostly like puzzles as opposed to trivia, but it's definitely some kind of puzzle game. And I tend to usually like those. So I figured let me at least try it out and see if it's any good. And if it stinks, then it stinks. But you know, at least I tried it instead of you. <laughs> so let's open it up here. I got uh, one of my big knives and I'm going to try to cut the tape on the side of the box here. Let me do that. If I can. Come on, tape. All right, hell with it. I got one side open. Let's just open the side I have. One side open. All right, here we go. All right, so it's some kind of cardboard insert. Wow. After all that, I mean, it's a nice, cool-shaped box, but the only thing I got in here is a manual that's shrink-wrapped. See if I have the same amount of trouble opening this one. It looks like it has one of those starter things, although it's not red. Where do you open? Do you start it? Wow, I can't recall when I've had this much trouble getting to the open. All right, I don't think I quite opened it the right way, but at least it's open. So what do we have here? We have a oh my gosh, we have a CD. Looks unmarked. We have a, an insert here with no manual of any kind. So, wow, this game looks like it came with no manual at all. That's two in a row for me, if you're keeping track here. And, uh, wow, I guess you guys got to put it in and see, see if it works. So, let's try this out and hope all this is worth this uh, effort. Wait a second, wait a second, folks. Hold on, late breaking news here. When I was just playing with this, I realized it's actually something else inside the book, inside the box. So we actually have more stuff. All right, let's, let's see here. We have a registration card. And we have a real manual. It's actually a, a full size, what it looks like. It's black and white, unfortunately. But, all right, they didn't leave us hanging. We actually have some text here. Introduction. Installation. Looks like Windows 3.1 and Windows 95. So I'm definitely going to try Windows 3.1 on your DOS box. How to play the different games. All right, cool. Now, now that I've seen this, I feel like I did play this at one point before. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a second. That's basically it. Still nothing too exciting. Let's get on with the actual game. All right, so here we have Mind Grind. Now, I remembered why I uh, remembered this game or thought it was familiar. It's actually, it actually was re-released on a title called Quiz Quest by, I believe, Expert Software 
And I found a loose CD of that game a while back and actually posted on this channel some videos of the this intro because it's so weird. The fabric of time have been stretched so limits. I'm not going to try to like let you to try to understand this this intro here. And you can watch the whole thing, you know, if you search my channel for Mind Grind or Quiz Quest. But basically, if I understand correctly, you're supposed to be like one of many aliens who are participating in a contest to colonize the Earth. And this video looks so fake. It looks like they took it from, like, I don't know, old science fiction movies, some really cheap 3D renders, maybe of classic science fiction movie scenes or something like that. But basically, you have to... You pick an alien species to colonize Earth, and the winner who gets to colonize Earth is one that answers the most questions correctly or something like that, or wins the game, I guess. Now, you get to select a number of players. Obviously, you're not going to play one player with a real trivia game, but I'll pick one player for now. Just uh, make this easy, because I only have one person here. And here's different uh, species you can you can uh, pick. So I'll just pick this guy, because he looks he looks smart. He's a big brain. Craniusk. <laughs> I don't think it makes a difference. And then the intro is so bizarre. The intro FMV. I mean, I have it elsewhere on the channel, but I'm not going to talk through part of it. You just have to hear it. It's like probably the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. Here we go. This guy here. <laughs> Welcome to Dirt, the site of this millennium's mind grind. The first thing that you should realize is that here, you're nothing special. Maybe I will talk a little bit. But... Just because you've been colonizing solar systems and running roughshod over other species since the onset of time, don't think for a millisecond that you can just land on Galactic Core, coordinates 83500291. I had no idea we were talking about the first time I watched this. Things we are taking over. But I guess it's talking about Earth. Believe me, many have tried. All have failed. Now, if you want to talk taking over, speak to my mother-in-law. Look at this. I had to leave the planet just to get away from her. What the but hell is this? That's another story. That's his mother-in-law? So she's but a cartoon. The and there's dogs barking. I, have been scooped <laughs> I guess she's like super ugly. That's what you're trying to say, but like, what the heck? You and your opponent will be racing through a series of cerebral events where Earth knowledge is the key to advancement, if not enlightenment. So these are all the different puzzles, Each mazes, or the different games. It's like Mario Kart, sort of, except Mario Party, rather, except uh, it's all trivia questions. No mini games. If you're going to attack Earth, the more you know, the better you Look at this. Look how bad these graphics are. It's like a bunch of random 3D models that, that all look like they were done by someone with very little skill. And thrown together. Another fine Earth trait. And now he refers to this wonderful Motley crew here and says... Hello! The crowd's getting antsy. <laughs> They're ready for some action. <laughs> Who's this guy? See you at the Matrix. We'll be watching. Oh, did I mention the pitfalls of death? I didn't. <laughs> well, now you well. know. Let the games begin. <laughs> Who is that guy? Was he got ever so on any other acting job aside challenge. from this? Did you? Well, there's no turning back now. Before you I mean, like, honestly, that has to be the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. Pebbles. And, like, it looks like some kind of really bad TV show or something like that. But I, I don't know who this guy is. or I didn't, I could look it up, maybe, but I'm not going to. He doesn't uh, look like an A-list actor, I'll tell you that much. So there's basically all these different games you play for trivia. It should be against another person. In this one, you have to get four in a row in order to win, and each each one of these squares is, is a trivia question. And if you get it wrong, then you lose that op, you lose that box basically permanently, and you can't select it anymore. So I'm not very good at horror, but let's just pick this one. Uh oh! Looks like you stumbled upon a pitfall cell. Oh, oh no! I can't I just tell died. you much now, but trust me, <laughs> it's in your best interest to get this question right. Which I won't. I have no idea. There's also a timer in all these questions, so you don't have a lot of time. How many principles of the science and art of magic built based upon? I'll guess seven. Oh no. What happened? Uh oh. I'm dead. Look out below. Another one of these and your history. Okay. Probably not your favorite subject either. At least I, at least I have another chance. So this 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 square is blocked, so basically like 
if it's four in a row and against another person, then it's really hard because now you have to get four questions in a row right. In a you know, basically you have to make it do without someone else blocking you, and these questions are not easy. So he, he hath forward from all thrower astronomy. Who is the English ambassador to Venice reporting? Of whom? Copernicus or oh, Galileo, probably. All right, good. I got one right at least. All right, so again, four in a row though is a, is a, is a interesting. So I have no idea what this guy invented. It's not compound interest, probably. Uh, the barometer sounds good. I really have no idea though. I'll just guess. That was a good guess. All right, so anyway, you get the idea. And if I do get four in a row, I guess I'll I'll just try a couple more times to see if I can pull this off. This is interesting. Observation. I'm never gonna get it right though. Uh, who was wearing a yellow shirt? Nobody, I don't think. Oh, darn. <laughs> See, my powers of observation are not that great. All right, I'll try the other side. This, this square is gone. If I, can tr if I can get the other side right, I'll keep going. If not, I'm going to give up. Who's the man who would risk his neck for his brother, man? Who's the cat who won't cop down with his danger all around? I guess it's missing Shaft. Never saw that show, but it sounded right. Damn right. I've heard about it. Let's see if I get the sound effect. What the heck? Shh. Maybe a rhinoceros? Yay! Alright, so I got four in a row. I only did that so you could see that it moves on to the next puzzle. The next uh, screen, basically. The next game. Before I'm convinced. Here's 200 bonus points for finishing first. Finish first, because I'm the only player. <laughs> now you see my character go to the next puzzle, so I don't know what happens if there's more than one. And now here's number two. The Pillars of Wisdom. Enjoying the scenery. Note the pillar you're standing on. Now look at the pillars at the top of the formation. That is where you want to be. To get there, you will have to jump from pillar to pillar by giving me the correct answer. You can jump as far as three pillars away, but I must warn you, those questions are more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, who is that guy? By the way, they're liars. You can't jump three pillars away. It doesn't do anything. But you can jump two pillars away. I'll get it wrong, but just for the heck of it. For brain teasers. They are harder, those questions. Handler of Peewee's PM Street Kids. Yes, I mean, is now not many. Three quarters of their number plus three quarters of a kitten. What? I don't know. Not, I can't do this so fast. I just guessed. <laughs> Guessing sometimes helps. Anyway, you get the idea. It looks like a fun game, actually. <laughs> I just got caught by a tornado because I was talking to you. But it looks like a, it looks like a fun game. The questions are reasonable. I imagine playing this third player might be might be fun. And uh, there is some element of competition in all of these things. Not just answering questions individually, but you're you're interfering with the other players. Here here you see I knocked out this pillar when I jumped away from it. In the next level, it's like a maze that you're you're, you're trying to travel through. So it's it's pretty fun actually. And um, I would actually like to play this at one point. What could I go here? Did it freeze up? I'm not sure what just happened. I think my talking may have frozen up the game. Anyway, you get the idea. I do actually want to play this at some point uh, with somebody else to see how it is. But it's probably good it froze up here because I was sort of done anyway for now. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it interesting. And uh, if you, please leave me comments if you've played this game or even heard of it. All these games I play seem to be super obscure. But let me, let me know if you've played it in the comments section. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please like and share the video and all that good stuff. And we'll do this again real soon. Have a really great day, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.